uh, Duluth Aerial Bridge, uh, James Aluster. Uh, James Aluster, this is the Aerial Bridge. I see you coming there, Cap. We'll get you up there around Cargill, and we'll go ahead and start her up for you. Okay, sounds good. Thank you. Thanks for the call. There's your bridge. So I've got the James Overstar in a few minutes. Yeah, I was just heading down onto the, uh, the counter right. Give me one sec. All right, that sounds good. I'll come get you, and then we'll be clear for him. Okay, Dave, I'm ready and clear. Duluth Aerial Bridge, uh, the Overstar, just coming at Cargill. Uh, Overstar Aerial Bridge, we just lifted off for you, Ken. Thank you very much. Aerial Lift Bridge, uh, this is Star. If it's okay, we'll come in as soon as the Overstar clears. Yeah, this is Star Aerial Bridge, it'll be fine, Cap. As usual, I'll probably go ahead and start her down, but I'll uh, stop and give you plenty of room. Okay, very good. Uh, if I get up there real quick, uh, I'll wait till you stop. Sounds good, Cap.
James, that you just heard between the Honorable James L. Oberstar and the area listed is the captain salute. The Honorable James L. Oberstar is currently departing empty after discharging a load of limestone at Hallett 5 in Duluth. The Honorable James L. Oberstar was built as the Shenango 2 in 1959 by the American Shipbuilding Company of Lorain, Ohio. She measures 806 feet in length, 75 feet in width, and 37 feet in depth. Powered by two 4100 horsepower, six cylinder Bergen Wolf Royce diesel engines, which give her a top speed of 15 knots or about 70 miles an hour. She's also equipped with both bow and stern thrusters, to aid her maneuverability in port. On her hatches, or er, excuse me, on her deck, she's got 24 hatches, which open into five cargo holes located below deck. These cargo holes give her a maximum carrying capacity of 31,000 tons. Also above her deck is a 250-foot self-unloading boom, which allows her to unload her own cargo at a rate of 6,000 tons per hour without the aid of shoreside equipment. The Honorable James L. Overstar is currently owned and operated by the Interlake Steamship Company of Middleburg Heights, Ohio, and she's named after in honor of a former U.S. representative from Minnesota who promoted the Great Lakes shipping industry. Overstar is departing to the or every day after discharging a load of limestone at the Hallett 5 dock. 